It's time for a new mentalist video. That's my Red John impersonation. It's not great. Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new Mentalist video. My name is Amerik from Happy Cool and I am super excited to come back after a very long summer to just talk about the Mentalist once again. Mentalist season six. What to expect? What are the spoilers? What are the news? What are my thoughts on what's gonna happen? Do I maybe have some sort of crazy theory that I wanna share? Who knows? Let's find out together. Guys, before I talk about all these spoilers and all these news, I just wanna be clear on two things. Number one, we're going to talk about spoilers. Spoilers, not minor spoilers, pretty big spoilers. So if you don't wanna know anything about what's going to happen for season six of The Mentalist, you need to stop watching this video. I hate to say it, but you need to stop watching this video. Don't say I did not warn you. Spoiler alert. Two, I am not going to cover everything that came out. I'm gonna cover most of it or just stuff that really I found interesting that I think you might find interesting. So if I did forget something, please comment below and let me know. Now that we have that out of the way, let me just jump into what I really wanna talk about, which are the spoilers. Bruno Heller, <laughs> since May, has been giving a series of interviews to TV Guide, TV Line, Deadline, and we've learned quite a bit about what to expect in season six. So get ready. Here are a few things that we will find out in season six. First of all, season six is the season in which Red John is going to be captured. To be actually specific, before the end of 2013, Red John will be captured, and I just can't even believe that it's going to happen. Incidentally, if you wanna know who I think is Red John, check out my previous Mentalist video in which I give you my theory on who I think is Red John within that list. Another thing that we know about Red John is that after episode one, there might be even one less person on that list. So that's gonna narrow things out pretty quickly. So after episode one, we're gonna go from seven suspects to six suspects. So that's gonna be pretty epic. So what do I think about all this RJ news? I think that after all these seasons, all this time that we as fans have committed to this show, it's great to know that A, this story is gonna be resolved, finally, and B, it's also, it's a good thing to know that, hey, you know, before the end of this year, we're gonna wrap this up and we're gonna be able to move on to other things, which I think is fantastic. And speaking of RJ, guess who I talked to? I talked to one of the RJ suspects, Jack Plotnik, who plays Brett Partridge, our favorite RJ suspect, and I asked him a little bit more about what to expect this season, what are some of the things that he has thought about the series overall. I put the link below to the interview so you can go check it out. Super interesting stuff, love talking to the guy, and I think it's gonna inform you a little bit more of what to expect this season. It's gonna be interesting. So with all that RJ news, you must be wondering, yeah, okay, so we, we catch Red John, but what happens after? What happens to Patrick Jane after Red John is being caught? That's a really good question. And Bruno Heller, in his usual clarity, is saying, well, we're gonna explore that. What happens after Ahab catches Moby Dick? That's one of the analogies he's using. We wanna know what happens after the fact, and we're definitely gonna explore that, but we're not gonna tell you more about what to expect along those lines. So, yeah, I, I'm really curious to see how they're gonna make it work, actually have a theory on how they can make Patrick Jane still be Patrick Jane after he catches Red John, but we'll get to that at the end of this video. Moving along, what else did we find out? Well, there are two regular cast members that are going to be leading the series. I know. Amanda Rigetti and Owen Yeoman? <laughs> Yemen? Uh, look, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say his last name. I really looked everywhere. I don't know how you say it. I just say Owen Yeoman, and that's how I'm gonna say it. Anyways, Amanda Rigetti and Owen Yeoman are actually going to leave the series, and their characters are actually slated to get married. I oh, know, wedding bells, people. So apparently it is a happy ending for them, according to what Bruno Heller is saying, 
but I think there's more to that. And again, we'll talk about it in the crazy theory portion of this video. Teaser. But now let's move on to the most important part of this whole casting news and <laughs> spoiler discussion. Let's talk about Chispin. Yes, people, Jane and Lisbon, after RJ is caught, what happens to them? That's a big question. A lot of you must be wondering, are they gonna get together? Are they gonna pull them apart? How is that gonna work? Heller, <laughs> again, in his magnificent clarity, has decided to tell us the following, which I will just read, because it's just, it deserves to be read. So it was in the TV Line article, and this is what he said. They haven't been thinking about their growing closeness while it's happening, so all this accumulated emotion and feeling has been building up, essentially behind them. It's only when they step away from that and can turn around and look back that they will start to see how they feel about each other. And it's great fun to explore that on the page. I think it's going to be a whole different look at these two characters. A whole different look at these two characters. That's really what I want you guys to pay attention to. A whole different look. Now, I don't mean to parse words here, but I will. <laughs> and I'm gonna say, it might not be what you or I are expecting or even hoping for. It might not be a straight up relationship. There might be some additional conflicts that are being added here. I just, I just don't quite know how. Because really, they have two choices. Either they get together or they don't. I mean, after RJ, there's really very little reason why they wouldn't get together. But I personally think that they might try to get them together, but something is gonna prevent them from getting together. Something. That's what I think. That's how I see it. Which brings me to my crazy mentalist season six theory. Now, guys, before I tell you this, I want you to know that is pure 100, 1000% speculation based on nothing else but me just thinking out loud and trying to put these this information together and see how it's all gonna work out. So, bear with me. I think that when RJ is found, Patrick Jane will have no choice but to stay with the CBI because, and this is, this is gonna be big, because RJ is going to kill Patrick's family, AKA the CBI team. I think that after Van Pelt and Rigsby get married, they're probably gonna get killed by Red John. And I also think that Cho, while trying to save them or something along those lines, is also going to get killed. And at the end of this whole saga, when RJ is done, the only two people left standing are going to be Lisbon and Jane. Jane, who is going to be racked with guilt after being responsible, because it's probably, he's gonna feel guilty about this, seeing his best friends, his only friends, dying, probably in front of him to make it all just more dramatic. And Lisbon essentially blaming Jane for this. I mean, she might just blame him for this. And in that situation, in that scenario, even after RJ is dead, how can these two just get together? It doesn't work, it doesn't work anymore. If you think about it guys, this could be the next thing that drives Jane into being who he is. As much as losing his family the first time around drove him into becoming the Jane he is today, losing his family the second time around might drive him to keep being a version of Jane, but a version of Jane that's racked with even more guilt and that's lost his friends and that may have lost the love of his life. So think about this. It's very possible. And especially in light of what Bruno Heller said, what I'm saying is not super crazy. <laughs> I'm not completely out there. It's very possible. Likely, I don't know. Because that's a lot of castle members to get rid of in one season. But it's the mentalist, man. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Anyways, guys, that's my theory. What do you think of it? What do you think of all these spoilers and the news? Comment below and let me know. 
And if you like what I just talked about, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel if you're new, and stay tuned because this coming Wednesday, I will have an advanced review of the premiere episode of The Mentalist. I know, super exciting, and I just can't wait to talk about it with you guys. I'm just, I'm just excited. That's what I am right now. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye.